just a normal small stream i see a bunch of shiners great pan fishing creek i see a, something good size so, sometimes has bass in it i don't really know we're starting with the whopper plopper 75 just starting out with some top water not sure what to expect every time you come to a creek it's different but being in the middle of june nice summer windy day i'm hoping there's some bass in here ready to munch This is it. Gets a little bit deep at this bend. This is where something's gonna be. I'm gonna get any area out of here, there's gonna be a fish just hammer this. Nope, not there. Right there. That should be a fish. Come on, that should be one. Making me a little worried if there's not any bigger ones and maybe they're not that aggressive. Oh yeah, yeah, there he is, there he is. Nice, when I saw his wake, that's a nice fish. Dude, you would not, if he, that, that's crazy. If I could catch that guy in a tournament, that is gonna be a really good fish. Dude, I don't believe it. I don't, every time I come to these kind of streams, I don't believe that these fish are in here. It's amazing. Look at that, he is not a skinny one. Usually they're skinny up in here. He looks good. Let's get a hold of it. Wow. Oh my. Dude, that's a solid fish. It took two casts over there, but the second cast, I saw this guy follow it out. And I was like, that's a solid fish coming. I didn't realize he's gonna be a, uh, that's a, I bet you he's 17 inches. Probably over two pounds. Look how shallow this is. It's not even up to my, it's not even like halfway up my, to my knees. A foot and maybe a couple inches deep. Look at this creek. People working on buildings over there, restaurants all around. And I'm catching fish. I need to get a cast. Ah, this is where my casting skills aren't the best, but I'm trying to. Flick a lure under an overhang like that tree. There's looks deep. It's a good shady overhang, great ambush spot for the fish that are gonna be in here, especially right in the middle of the day. I think it's like one o'clock. So we've got a little deeper area, but the I mean that overhang is where something's gonna be living. Oh wow, good cast. Come on. Ah. Oh, thought that might pull something out right there. I got it in the shade. There's some bass right there. Okay. I've seen a couple spots that has some bass that didn't hit. I'm about to turn around and go backwards anyway, to go back through where I just came through. And until we get to new water, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this tough water. Oh, fish on, I got a fish. I didn't know I had it on there. I'm not used to setting a hook on a <laughs> like this. This would feel a little weird. But little Christy Crow got me one. That's yeah, I saw a few this size. They may be a little small to commit to the top water, but that's a healthy little fish though. He's doing good. Oh, 
deep pool right here. Hope there's anything in it. Come on, there should be something in here. Yep, there's one. <laughs> he hit it right before it hit the shade line. Doosh. Hey, not bad. Fish, is that number three today? Second on the chop water. And the whopper plopper. Uh, he wasn't hooked bad. There we go, there's a, there's a bunch more of this size in here. I feel like I haven't gotten. But I thought they'd be more aggressive hitting at it. But you never know. Because I could get to a section where there's five fish biting. You can fish a section where you don't get a bite. But about a probably a 12 incher. Oh, it, oh I had one come up too like he was gonna hit it. He was kind of small. All right, I hope there's no snakes here. I'm about to step on. Gotta get to the weeds to get to this, the serious deep hole. Ooh. I need to get cast before I get over there. This is where it gets a little tricky. I need to get those casts just right. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I had a hit right away. Oh, I had another hit. Dude, I think that's a different fish. And it's a good one. Look at that bass. Oh man, not a bad for the second one. We're gonna take it up here and put it in this next pool so he's out of the way. So he can keep on working his way up. Dude, the first hit was a soft one. This guy like crushed it. These are some healthy, healthy fish. Look at the size of their mouth. Look how big their body is. If I just showed you the mouth, you'd think, oh, that's a little guy. I show you the body, like, wow, that guy's a chunk. Man, this guy's. That's how they get big in this lake. Come up here in these creeks and they feed. Oh, goodness. Nice jump. Kind of funnels it into a deep pool that goes a little stretch. And if the fish are hungry, like that one I just caught, they're gonna be right up in here, like way up in this area. And there could be a few. So that was, I don't think that was the same fish. The one that I missed, the one that I caught. He could have followed it over, but I'm pretty sure he was a different one. Let's just see if he hits again. Ah, thought I might get a hit right there now. Ooh, it's getting deep in here. Oh yeah, it's deep here. Oh man, and that's what happens try to slide it and oh this is not good see why did I bring this with me now I'm now I'm getting aggravated just trying stuff out one cast can just mess it all up or we might be able to save the day I got 15 pound fluorocarbon and this, oh man, this is going to be rough. This is not going to be good. Man, this is aggravating. All right, time out. Well, I don't think we needed that line anyways, right? Just extra. Stick that away. I think we're back in business. Because there's at least another deep stretch I want to try to wade down. Yeah, I should have enough line. Oh, something hit it. A little bit of fish. Oh, oh man. That was almost a problem. All right, this little bend here. If I haven't spooked the fish off, something should hit it. 
Yo, missed it. Oh my goodness, that dude shot out and hit it. Called that one. Too bad I missed him. Oh, God. <laughs> that was two hits. That's what I was wanting. Okay, if I'm getting what I'm wanting, I'm getting hits. It's probably when I should probably be throwing a popper. They're hitting like that. Ah. Oh, no, no, I saw that one hit it too. <sighs> Is that three or four that I've missed? Oh, log jam's gone. Ah, it's different. Oh, I got over the tree again. Did you see that? I'm getting hit. Oh, no, now I'm stuck. I got a hit when I had it over the tree. E All right. Oh, oh, I see a little bass. Here he comes, here he comes. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Dude, there was a bigger bass. Man, there's somebody fishing here. Come on. I should probably put away this. Oh, well. They're biting right in front of me. They're staying, these fish are right in front of me. All right, well, I've been going through these weeds, trying to get out of here. Oh, there's a huge turtle. I saw a bass, there's a couple big bluegill. But um, oh, if I can get down there, I might be able to wade. It's getting shallower. I was going through a deep hole, but I don't know if I get down there. It's uh, there's like a briars, briars, briars. Get off there. There we go. That's a solid fish. One on the spinner bait. And that's probably the one that I missed. The spot? I think he is. Oh, he is heavy. He's a thick boy. Came back through that area. Thought I might get one of those two of those bass that hit on top of one that I missed. But I got a pretty nice spotted bass right here, real fat. That was uh, probably right where I missed, uh, where I had that one that I hit as soon as I hit the water earlier. But uh, it's fat 14 inch, I'd say. Yeah, we uh, drove down just about a mile down the creek. We're gonna hit this up real quick. This could be really good or just yeah, make, make a few casts. I would call that a very successful day for two hours out fishing. That's right, two hours wading up and down. Missed several fish. Could have had a chance for a lot more. When I go out in the lake, I feel like I go out for two hours before I get my first bite or just to be able to figure anything out. But I'm so glad it's summer. And these fish are getting active, really active in these creeks, hitting some top water. And I kind of wanted to go for those bigger fish. If I would have went with my little ultralight, I probably would have caught 50 fish in the amount of time. I doubt I'm catching any of those, um, you know, 14 inch plus. That first largemouth was funny because it was the biggest one I caught and it was the furthest upstream, uh, way further than where I'm at now. And um, I had some good ones. You know, everything I caught today was fat. They're aggressive. Um, I was in the shade most of the day walking through the water in about three foot the deepest so that was really fun uh am i gonna do a lot of wading with a bait caster probably not because they i do i do like this rod this this rod is a 610 medium extra fast and the tip is actually pretty soft uh the reel is a uh abby garcia revo i think it's a it's a 6.7 to one so it's fast enough i had 15 pound fluorocarbon on here uh this I don't know what the setter is for. I just kind of put this together to try out where it's not too long. Um, it does pretty good for all around stuff. If I'd have had a softer rod, I might have hooked a couple more of those fish um, when you're using the whopper plopper. 
they like a, a little bit more of a bendy rod, but I say this did pretty good. And if they were, if they're a little bit bigger and a little bit hungrier, I'll probably would hook a few more of them, but uh, still, still a really good day. So thanks for watching. There we go. He hit it twice. I let it drop. He ate it. Well, it was worth coming down the creek. Hope he ain't did it too deep. That's a nice fish. No, he'd be fine, I think. Get that. That's uh, with the mag draft there. Started walking, uh, got in and started walking back up. little deep hole and a little shallow water. I saw something hit at it. Then I think he hit it again. I let it drop. And when I picked up, he was, he had it. Ooh, probably 15 incher. Several geese with their little babies are getting big. Growing pretty good. So here grazing. <laughs> 